Hey guys, this is Ty, and today is an awesome day. I just picked up a new winter car, and it is a BMW E30. This is a 1986 325 ES, and I love it. Checking out the interior. I did switch out this emblem already. Yeah, 151,000 on the clock. It is an automatic transmission for right now, but that will be changed eventually. Um, I need a radio. Yeah, I need a glove box. Woohoo. And also this piece underneath the steering wheel, not really there, but the door cards are in excellent shape. Steering wheel is in good shape. Everything else, pretty decent. Only a few small cracks up here, which is common. Um, everything else, oh, I don't even think this works. Wow. Um, everything else, perfect. And I wouldn't say perfect, but good enough. Ooh. That idle surge though. So the car does go in reverse, which is good to know, but it does not, does not drive anywhere in gear. I'm on a hill right now a little bit, so that's how it works. Also has no power steering right now, so fun. I actually bought this car, I don't know, uh, Monday and today on this video it is now Saturday so it's been a week and I haven't posted anything yet mainly because I was still getting title transferred everything registered all that sort of stuff but now I'm all set I already got a temporary plate on it um, got a custom plate coming hopefully the plate I want goes through but we will see I guess in a few weeks here um, yeah but let's check out the rest of the car I can uh, kind of explain what it needs um, all that kind of stuff. It does need a transmission, but I am dropping it off at a shop today to get a new one swapped in. I have an automatic and a manual transmission in the car right now, waiting to be put in, whichever one. I'm gonna swap the auto in first because, well, first of all, it's gonna be cheaper for me, and second of all, I don't have all the parts for the manual yet, so there's that. But uh, let's check out the rest of this beast. So here she is, guys. Got uh, some uh, aftermarket black smoke tail lights in her already. Pretty dope. I already switched out this emblem here. Um, it has a custom exhaust on it already. I think it's a custom muffler, dual tip, whatever. Sounds pretty good though. Not bad. I think you switch out this back bumper. Not a bad little car overall for what I paid for. Um, some bottle cap rims all around 14 inch rims um, it did need brakes and I did already do the brakes on it so I made a video doing the brake job already and I will be posting that probably the day after this video goes up so probably this will go up tomorrow brakes will be the day after um, I did the brakes earlier on because the car would not stop when it was rolling at all like no matter how hard it was so bad so I had to put new brakes on I ended up putting on drilled and slotted rotors with racing pads only because I got the kit for super cheap otherwise I would just do stock stuff because this car probably won't ever go fast enough to need them but if it does I got the stopping power now which is sweet so let's continue with the car why it's got some uh, sweet Bondo action going on make sure we can focus in you know, this side's actually pretty clean on the car. Front end, it has an E36 front bumper uh, fitted to it. But it looks pretty sweet in my opinion, you know. Grills, whole front end. Pretty dope. I switched out this emblem for a carbon fiber one already because I had extra emblems laying around. Got a sick dent right here, you know. Sweet. I might try to pull that out with uh, some of those uh, YouTube uh, plunger tricks. Maybe make a video on that. Uh, got a windshield banner on it already. It's not a bad E30 for uh, what I paid for. I think I don't have any dents right here. Respect, yo. Respect your elders. Respect your elders. Uh, I need to get a new one of these pillars. 
got some rust going on it, but those are pretty cheap. I found some other ones to replace it with. Um, all in all, it's a decently clean E30. And the best part, guys, is I didn't pay more than $1,500 for this car. This car is super cheap. And yes, I'm gonna be probably just around two grand into it by the time I'm done, but it is gonna be such a cool little winter car. And after the winter, I plan on swapping in the manual transmission. I plan on doing some uh, steering mods, coilovers, slamming it down, and uh, maybe sliding this thing a little bit. So we'll see, but that's way in the future. Gotta get it going good first. And now I'm gonna take you through what the car needs. So, need to fix this dent. Need to fix this rusty pillar in my back seat right now. I have another transmission. Woohoo. Gonna put that thing in. She is a good old M20. I believe this is a different intake you put on here. But I need a power steering belt, which I already have inside the car that is gonna be put on as well when I take it to the shop for the transmission. So, for my current list, transmission, power steering belt, a uh, AC condenser, glove box, radio. So that's already five different things I need. Radio. Basically, after the transmission, it'll run perfectly fine. I just won't have AC. Radio, don't need, gonna want one. Um, I probably won't get a new glove box or that other panel for under the steering wheel just because I don't really care. Um, winter tires, I'm definitely gonna need new winter tires for it. And after that, I will probably fix the dent and maybe we'll wrap this thing and uh, have a sick little E30, you know? I'm thinking maybe buying spacers for the winter time just to push the wheels out, make it look cooler, I guess, and uh, go on from there. Got the M3 chilling over there. Getting uh, cooled down because I gotta go uh, meet some buddies up to pick up a trailer for this thing. <laughs> it is a video. You guys want to put a strap on there? Or no? I think we need a strap on it in the front. So you grab that strap. I'm going to complete this shit. Actually, no, I'm not because I'm going to get harder. Dropped her off at the shop. Peace. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, dropped off the E30 at the shop. I'm gonna have my uh, professional technician install a new transmission in it because right now all we do is go in reverse. I rented a trailer from U-Haul for, I think it was like 55 bucks, which isn't bad at all for uh, a couple hours to use it. And uh, yeah, so uh, that should be done. Hopefully this next upcoming week and all set. I'll catch you guys next time. Please like and subscribe and see ya.